This is my Bosch 800. I've had it for a few years and I've had four issues. It's the most expensive dishwasher I've ever purchased, but unfortunately it's also given me the most problems. And given these issues that I've been having, I'm gonna answer the question today of if I would recommend you buy the Bosch 800 or if I should have bought this unit. First issue we're gonna talk about here is the installation clips that are sent with the machine. You get these little metal brackets. I'll put a picture of them up here on the screen. You put them into slots on the side. Now I would love to undo them and pull it out, but when I explain this problem to you, you'll understand why I'm not going to do that because those clips, when you mount them into your cabinet, are eventually gonna work themselves loose and you're gonna have a wobble. I installed this thing three or four times, continued to have the same problem. Okay, now we've got the poodle from Poodle Dad. Continued to have that same problem and I eventually actually had a contractor who was doing some work in the bathroom. I had him go ahead and install this. I paid him to do it. He found he had the exact same issue. I've since got it, uh, once he installed it, he got it in there pretty good. It hasn't wobbled as much on me as before, but I actually had to buy another set of those brackets just to get it fully mounted. Okay, go ahead, go ahead, Bob. And if you like dishwashers, hey, like this video and subscribe if you wanna see more Poodle Dad content. So that's the first problem. I had a lot of trouble with the mounting and installation. I still get a little bit of wobble. The second problem, which I actually think is the biggest issue with this dishwasher, has to do with this door ceiling. Now, if you're older than like, I don't know, 35, maybe you remember an old school dishwasher that had that latch right here where you had to close the door and turn that latch and then you had a really secure door seal. Well, I think Bosch needs to go old school because this doesn't have anything like that. You just push it closed, you get a little bit of a click, but even if you heard that beep, I don't know if the microphone picked that up, it's telling me the door isn't fully closed. That's why it beeped at me like that. So this door simply does not seal well and that's gonna lead to the next problem, which is you can have a load, you're running your dishwasher and it stops halfway. And the reason that it's doing that is as your dishwasher is running, it senses that this door isn't fully sealed and it will stop your dishwasher load. So you wake up in the morning, you thought you ran it last night and you get this little blinky light down here telling you that the load didn't finish. Now I put out a whole nother video about this problem, which has to do with you can clean these seals and try to get a better, tighter seal when you close your door. I've gotten hundreds of comments. That video is almost to 100,000 views as of this time. Hundreds of comments, people telling me their Bosch 800 gave them the same problem. Now, if you don't address this door seal issue, and I'll link to that other video, you can actually get an error of water dripping down. There's a sensor underneath the dishwasher. If it senses any water, it will stop and not allow your dishwasher to run. Now that's a very good thing because you don't want your dishwasher to spill gallons and gallons of water all over your floor or into your basement or crawl space. However, the reason that I was getting water down there and apparently thousands of you also were having that same problem is because of that door seal. So I'm gonna recommend clean out your seals as often as possible. Make sure that this thing is sealed really tightly. So that's our third issue is that the load may, may stop in the middle of a cycle because this door, and I actually think this goes along with it. This just does not seem to sit tight in there as it should. If you get a larger dish back here, if it's sticking out at all, and it prevents this from fully seating, you gotta push that down there, then your door may not fully seal. Now I think what they should do is make this like a millimeter smaller just give us a little bit of space in there and that might fix that problem. Not much I can do about that that I'm aware of. Okay, last problem I wanna talk about on the Bosch 800, very expensive dishwasher. My dishwasher is now shooting rinse aid all over the place. So here is where you put the rinse aid. It's gonna run out of rinse aid every 25 to 30 loads. And recently this has been shooting rinse aid all over the bottom rack. So if I have plates right here, they're all covered with rinse aid when it tells me that it is done. You know, this is a big problem because my wife tells me she doesn't like when our dishes are covered with rinse aid and supposed to be clean. Now I've looked this up. I'm not the only one having this problem, but I haven't found a solution. 
At this point, the best solution that I'm coming up with is don't add rinse aid in there. Then I have to put up with the loads taking about another 20 minutes, which is not the end of the world, I suppose. My four big issues with the Bosch 800. Let me know in the comments. You got a Bosch? Are you having problems? Would I buy this dishwasher knowing what I know now? I really don't think that I would. Well, this is Jason for Poodle Dad. Subscribe if you want to see more content like this. Let me know in the comments your issues with your dishwasher. I'll catch you in the next one.